How's it going, guys? Uh, I'm Andy from Engage Armament. And uh, not too long ago, there was a video floating around that was very popular on the internet, internet regarding the Arsenal knife gun. And we got dragged into that. It was actually a video that was done in our shop. Um, so anyway, I wanted to make another video that kind of, I, I believe, better explains what the gun is and uh, how it works. Um, so this is the Arsenal RS1 knife gun. All right. So this thing is a obviously a knife, but inside it has a 22 short revolver. Now 22 short is like 22 long rifle, just a little bit shorter. It's old school round. You'll still find it every you know here and there. Not a lot of firearms have made it anymore. But um, uh, using that short round, they were able to have a smaller cylinder, which worked a little bit better in here. And actually, if you look down the front of the gun, you're going to see a little hole right there, and that's actually the barrel of this revolver that's inside this grip. Now, I'm going to open this up and show you. This is the revolver inside of here. So you load this up. This is actually a five-shot revolver. Uh, there are actually six chambers, but there's one for the firing pin to rest on um, that's actually filled in, so you can only load five rounds. You load them in, turn the cylinder, load it in, close it like that. The trigger, this is pretty slick, the trigger is actually built in to the grip here. Turn this around and it's going to pop open like that. You're going to grab it and then depress and it's going to fire. Okay. Um, so the trigger actually will recess back into the, into the frame when you're not using it, which is pretty freaking cool. And then right here above the barrel, there's a little spike. I don't know if you can really see that that well. It's a little spike. That keeps you from putting your thumb or another finger in front of the barrel while you're firing. So obviously that's really, really sharp. You put your finger on there, you're going to know you're going to take it off. So the idea behind that obviously is you don't shoot yourself. Um, so this is a really neat piece of hardware. This is actually a federally registered item. It's governed under the NFA. It's an AOW. So transfers on a $5 tax stamp. Um, it's a little bit cheaper than a 200 one. Uh, they don't make a lot of these. Uh, it was my understanding they made several hundred of them. Um, Arsenal still sells them. Um, but they run MSRP back in the day. It used to be about $2,000. Now they're going all the way up to, uh, I see them for sale for 26 27 28 sometimes. Um, but anyway, this is the Arsenal knife guy. Um, and... Uh, We'll go ahead and uh, shoot it here in a few minutes and uh, show you guys how it works. So, put down the trigger, lock it in place, close it, and now essentially you're ready to go. All you gotta do is pop the trigger and fire it. Um, so we got this pretty uh, basic shoot tube over here, so I just thought I would demonstrate it. Let's see here. Oh. I might use this two-handed. I'm just going to use this two-handed because I don't want to uh, shoot myself. And I feel a bit more comfortable. Oh. So this was this ammo we just used was about. I'd say about uh, 50 years old, 60 years old, so it seems like we had one misfire. But anyway, that's the, uh, that's the Arsenal knife gun. A pretty neat, uh, pretty neat toy, pretty neat piece of hardware. So hope you all understand a little bit more about it and understand exactly what it is.